Okay, I'm going to do a sh quick little two minute video just to show you how to do a legato on a track. Um, so if you've already done a bit of a performance and got some MIDI events in there, um, but they're not all lining up perfectly, you didn't play it perfectly in legato, which is probably almost impossible to do, um, then you're going to want to try and fix those to make them legato if you want like a seamless bass line that just kind of runs into the next note. Um, if they overlap again, sometimes the uh, the next note won't play. Uh, it'll play in a situation like this, but right here, the second note won't play because it's. Um, I found that to be the case sometimes. So the first thing you're going to want to do, um, these are all pretty close to a sixteenth note. Uh, so if they were to, if the ends were to get quantized to a sixteenth note, then they'd go to the closest sixteenth. So I've chosen sixteenth up here. Then I'm going to hit the Q over here, and you can see it's. 16th notes are highlighted over here again. So now I'll click, do a Command A in this section so that I choose all these notes. And you can see they're already have been quantized um, to start on, on the proper beat. But the ends aren't quite reaching where they need or they're overlapping. So if we go to end over here and choose that and we take that to 100%, hit enter, then you'll see we've just turn that a quick way to turn that into a legato. So I uh, hope that helps and uh, if I come up with anything else I'll make another video.